Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of August 4, 2019. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is all about positive energy. It is all about things changing in a way that I'm so, so very happy to tell you about especially considering the sky as of late. I am thinking back to a couple of weeks ago, in the middle of July, we had a difficult lunar eclipse. Even last week, we had a series of very challenging Uranus squares. There was energy of restlessness and tension, and for some, even frustration. A desire to change that felt very much on the surface and yet not always knowing where to go with it. And I promised you, I said last week, just hang on, just ride it out because this week is when things will start to look up, things will start to look different. What was frustrating will be filled with hope, filled with inspiration. And now here we are. It really comes down to supremely harmonious connections that the Sun and Venus are making with Jupiter. Now these energies in and of themselves, well, they can get a little carried away, okay? They can be way too much head in the clouds, not a lot of groundedness. And that's where I think that uh, we have some other less strong celestial conversations taking place and yet extremely valuable in this context we have a dominant type of conversation with other power players called a quincunx. And it is this type of conversation that represents quickness and surprise and very quickly needing to integrate two energies, needing to understand how it is that you are going to address a surprise moment and use these tools that these planets provide you to find even faster resolution. And so it starts right out of the gate at the very beginning of the week with Mars speaking with Pluto. Now this is intense energy. These two planets in and of themselves can be quite intense. You put them together and that much more so. Mars is about what you are feeling viscerally. It is a rise in emotion, in passions. And Pluto is an energy that runs much more deep. It has intensity. Pluto, in fact, astrologically speaking, is often called the higher vibration of Mars. It becomes that much more perceptive, that much more strategic, and it can also be manipulative as well. I actually see this playing out in a sense of a moment that may very likely provoke our emotion and ask us to use the power of our passion wisely and with intention. It's very easy to feel something and to react. However, it is wise to choose your reactions and to decide that you are going to see things compassionately and let that guide your action. And ultimately, Mars is an energy of truth, even Pluto as well. And while all planets have that part of them that invite us to get in touch with truth and what is true for us, it is these energies that ask us to be bold, to be searing, to examine ourselves deeply. And that is the opportunity. In self-examination comes self-knowledge, and in self-knowledge comes compassion, comes a more honest way of interacting with each other. The other dominant quincunxes this week come down to the sun and Venus. Both of these planets over the course of the week will be speaking with Saturn. Now this is an energy I am so grateful for because I think that this is going to invite us to take the inspiration of Jupiter and ground the energy to make sure that our ideas, our hopes, our wishes, the potential that is with us now actually counts for something in practical ways actually is able to be translated into benefits that we can reap that change our reality for the better. Now, the other part of this as well is that we are gonna be encouraged to maximize the potential here by demonstrating ourselves to be mature, demonstrating ourselves to understand what is required, that we have done the work, that we've established expertise, 
wherever it is that we are hoping for greater opportunity, wherever it is that we are hoping for that breakthrough, uh, that big opportunity, that huge leap forward, it is going to be Saturn that ensures our actions are wise and that we are prepared to ask, to request, to state what it is that we want clearly with the expectation that we will be able to align with it because we know that we've done it before. We have proven it in our previous successes. And even if it feels like there's an opportunity that's bigger than what has been before and you haven't really proven it, well, chances are somewhere, if you look, you have the skills and you have the ability to demonstrate it. And that's how we're gonna tap into the fullest potential of what is rare and special happening now. So let's talk about those energies. We have got the sun speaking in a conversation of perfection with Jupiter. Now this is happening right around Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on where you are on the planet. That will be the perfection of this energy. But this is energy that essentially brings heat and magnetism to Jupiter. It is a conversation that magnifies each other's energies. Both the Sun and Jupiter are made bigger at this time in ways that are easy and in ways that represent blessings flowing forward. As we navigate right around Thursday or Friday, depending on where you are on the planet, Venus will perfect its connection with Jupiter, also in a type of conversation that astrologers call a trine. This is very powerful in and of itself. It magnifies an energy of love for all of us, but confidence as well. Venus, the Sun, and Mars for that matter are all in the sign of Leo, and this is a sign that represents confidence and certainty and knowing that your own abilities are more than enough. Your own inherent worthiness is more than enough to help you to get where it is that you desire to go, to allow you to experience the life that you desire. It is this Jupiterian energy with Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius that is only going to magnify this for more of us out there. And more of us out there are going to be asked to own our confidence, to find an authentic confidence within us and allow it to be seen, to find healthy ways of bragging that feel okay for us, and to find ways in which to state our place and to find ease in that. Now there's another layer of this as well, and that is the fact that the sun is in its home sign of Leo, and Jupiter is in its home sign of Sagittarius. These planets, now ordinarily, the Sun, Trine, Jupiter, well, that happens about twice a year. Venus, Trine, Jupiter, that happens twice a year as well. However, it is much more rare for this celestial conversation to take place while the Sun is in its home sign and Jupiter is in its home sign as well. This connection together takes place about once every 12 years or so. So the big blessings that are promised here, this streak of luck that could find us now, it has a certain potency. It has a certain heightenedness that we can tap into to our advantage. Now, of course, with Venus, it has to do with love, right? Goddess of love and pleasure and joy. Whereas last week, the energy where it came to love, I remember saying, no romantic surprises, don't do that, don't go there. This week is wonderful for any kind of romantic gestures, celebrating love, personal love, romantic love, universal love as well. But of course, with this energy, it's also about the show. <laughs> it is Leo after all. And so we should see some uh, particularly notable um, and fabulous fashion statements, celebrity statements taking place. Additionally, in our own lives though, we are gonna be encouraged to claim our right to be seen, to own our light and allow it to come forward and be recognized, to know that we are worthy of shining and being seen. That is you know, all very solar, very Jupiterian, but with Venus, it is about the enjoyment of that process, the enjoyment of shining that is that much more emphasized. And I would add with this, whereas with last week I said, there were a few signs out there in particular, but I know that I said somewhere 
that it really was not the time for any kind of cosmetic procedures this week that flips completely this is absolutely the time for cosmetic procedures however that saturn connection says that there may be some practical things you have to look at may not be a good idea to expect a miracle okay but you do have cosmic support to have things go in a positive direction as you define it so uh, whereas with last week venus speaking with uranus in conversations of tension it is not the time for any kind of tattoos uh, or new hair colors this week great time for all of that so have at it go at it enjoy yourself whatever it is that you consider your unique expression of beauty that is where the blessings of venus are going to be with us and of course with love where it comes to love this can be a very powerful time to be in touch with that part of ourselves that knows that love is a part of the human experience and that that part of the human experience is for us now that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go into situations that you don't want or are not ready for there are so many different forms of love so many different kinds of love and there are people in the world right now who want to celebrate where you are in your life and all the things that allowed you to be whom it is that you are today and it is Venus speaking with Jupiter in this way that allows us to know our worthiness to be loved in a way that brings genuine healing, that expands our horizon and allows us to recognize all the love in the world that is available to us. What I love about this week for us, look, it really is about this very fortunate, very lucky energy. I would say tap into it, okay? however you feel inspired to uh, whether it is that you want to ask for something that really matters to you whether it is that you want to take bold action towards what it is you're hoping for uh, whether it is auditions interviews uh, or promotions so on a professional level wherever it is that you can summon a spirit of worthiness and state it and know that you deserve it that is where the biggest rewards will come well thank you so much for watching what do you love about this week what are you excited about let me know in the comments below and of course if you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you in your sign how all this lucky expansive beautiful energy speaks to you for your sign log on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes they get a live event every single month a new moon event that we enjoy together a hangout uh, early access to monthly horoscopes and so much more all of this in the superstar space I look forward to meeting you there uh, before I jump into any more announcements I just want to very quickly say happy birthday to my dad as we start this week right out of the gate right August 4th is my father's birthday if you've been watching me for a while you know that sometimes I quote my dad and actually it's not that uncommon for you to hear my dad's wisdom through me I was raised well I was raised with a spirit of optimism a spirit of hope and so I am feeling very grateful uh, for my dad today on his birthday and I'm gonna be home soon later this week I'm gonna be home to celebrate his birthday with him and I'm looking forward to that as well so please just send a burst of love and a burst of gratitude to the amazing person that my father is uh, and he is so proud of me I'll tell you uh, we have some really powerful synastry my father and I he's got a lot of Leo energy in his chart um, but what he also has is his Jupiter in Sagittarius conjunct my moon and so uh, I have always felt completely loved completely supported by him no matter what I ever did <laughs> even during my very rebellious teen years I knew that I had a home and I knew I was loved thanks to my father so I love you dad happy birthday now synchronicity university thank you so much to all the students who joined me earlier today 
Thank you so much to every single one of you. I appreciate all the amazing students that we had. Um, and we just did the class on astrological magic. That was very popular. Lots and lots of people signed up for that. And so I know lots of those people are catching that class on the replay. All the classes that I taught in summer school are now available online. If you already signed up for summer school, it is gonna be this coming weekend that we will do an, kind of an informal Q&A, so I'll be answering your questions. I sent out a survey to all participants of summer school, and so that is where you're gonna submit your Q&A uh, questions, and then I will be sure to compile a list of the most popular and answer them, and we'll hang out, we'll be spontaneous together, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. So I look forward to meeting you online next week, but that's not like an official class. So that is not going to be offered for sale, the Q&A that's just for summer school uh, students. But the classes that I already taught, they're there. And I mean, it was just such an amazing, rewarding experience for me that I am really looking forward to the next batch, the next session of Synchronicity University announced very, very soon and live events that I'm super, super excited about. I am gonna be in Baltimore Labor Day weekend. And of course, I am going to be on a rare cruise event, an astrological cruise event, Love, Joy, Hope, and Transformation. Uh, I'm looking forward to this very rewarding journey and experience that we are gonna share together, being out of our comfort zones in the middle of the ocean. Uh, and my intention is, for an experience that unites us and leaves us changed for the better as a result. I'll be taking that journey with you. I'll be facilitating some classes along with other world-renowned astrologers. This week with all that Jupiter sun energy, right? That's great for booking travel. <laughs> That's great for thinking about taking a trip. And so if you are so inspired and if you feel karmically aligned with it, you can learn all about the cruise event and other events coming up at the link in the description below. And finally, consultations. Consultations, I have a few in-person consultations coming up. I will be in downtown Toronto. I'm gonna to be in my home and my old stopping grounds. I'm looking forward to that. But I will be in downtown Toronto in mid-August. I'm gonna have a day where I'll be doing a limited number of consultations. I think there's one spot left. It's Sunday, I think it's August 16 off the top of my head. Uh, that is when I have a consultation spot. If you would like a consultation in downtown Toronto, uh, please use the contact form on my website. We can make that happen. I also have uh, one more uh, right on Labor Day in Baltimore on the Monday of Labor Day. Uh, I have a slot, if it is, that you would like a consultation and you're in the Baltimore area, I would love to meet you and uh, have a look at your chart and answer your questions. So again, all of that is in the links in the description below, or rather for the consultations, just go to my website, use the contact form, and we can make that happen. And thank you. Thank you so much. I think this video might be a little bit short today as I'm moving through it, as there's a few things going on around me. And so I found this peaceful moment so that we could have our time together that I absolutely love. Thank you uh, to everybody joining me. Thank you to everybody at the premiere. So this video is gonna be a premiere video and I appreciate all my premiere people so very much. I'm glad that I get this chance to interact with you live and in real time. And of course, if you're watching this during the week on the replay, I appreciate you so much as well. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.